I am actually going to Turkey today. We're going to get our teeth done. I'm not okay. I don't think I can go. Here we are. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we finished with what I designed on the board and this is what the teeth look like. I decided to get vampire teeth and wow, they look different. <laughs> Hello, hello, hi. Oh my god, I am so excited to finally be able to do like traveling videos again. Even though it's been announced yesterday that we're going into a second lockdown. <laughs> I am actually going to Turkey today and I'm going with my manager. She's like my music manager and we're going for a week and we're going to get our teeth done. I'm at the Wave House right now, but I'm taking a week off right now, I guess, just to go and do this and travel. It's been booked for ages, but then we literally went into a second lockdown yesterday. So I'm not going to get a chance to travel much after this. So got to make the most of it. I I kind of don't want to say this in the vlogs. I feel like it's going to be like manifesting it, but my passport expires at the end of December and I have to have like three to six months on my passport to go to Turkey and I haven't got that. I tried to get a new passport, but it just didn't come in time. So now I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping for the best. <sighs> I tried. I really tried, but my passport got declined. I didn't even make it to checking my bag in and then the woman stopped me and was like, wait, what's the expiry date on your passport? However, apparently I can fly with another airline because they allow 30 days on your passport or 60 days. I've got two months left on it. So now we are at Heathrow and I just traveled another hour to a different airport. But now instead of a direct fly, I have to stop off in Istanbul. The fact I didn't realize my passport was expiring, like check the date next time maybe. What an idiot. But it's still not giving up because I'm gonna try again and potentially fail again at a different airport this time. No, this should actually work. I should be fine. If not, they gonna catch these hands. I swear to God. Moment of truth. Here we go. I'm not okay. I don't think I can go because my passport expires in 67 days and normally that would be okay. However, because of Corona, it has to have six months on it. Guess I'm asleep. Fuck it. I'll go Cornwall for the week. I'm not giving up yet. I'm gonna try the ticket desk one more time and hope for the best. You'll never know if you don't try, so here goes nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, God must be on my side. Wow, because I just made it in. I can't believe it. I don't know how I feel right now. Am I actually here? Am I dreaming? As she should. So I go up to the ticket desk and I say to them, Hi, I'm supposed to be going to Turkey. And as I say that, I realized in my head that I'm not going to be going to Turkey. And my eyes like almost started crying. Like they started welling up. And I think he saw and felt bad. And then he rang the passport office and they said that I can go. So then I went through. It's actually happening. Oh my God. I made up a story as to why I really, really need to go to Turkey. And in conclusion, I'm definitely going to hell. <laughs> Yikes. By the way, I took my mask off because there's no one like either side of me. This flight is pretty empty. This flight goes to Istanbul and then I have to go from Istanbul to Turkey. Oh my god, to f***ing cry. I've just gone through, through so much f stress. What the f***? I think I've missed my flight. Why? Why, why, why? Where the f*** am I? Why am I such an unorganized little bitch? What the actual f***? Oh yeah, last call. Great, that's what I want to see. What was that? Actually, what was that? I am sweating. Here we are. Live room tour reaction. <gasps> wow. Gassed. I love the vibe of this. Imagine I also bought Burger King at the airport, but I was too awkward to eat it in the taxi because it was too bougie. So I just put it in my WH Smith bag. And that is proof that I'm from Manchester. Thank you, everyone. I look and feel like death. I actually cannot explain what I just went through at the airport. I had to do a stop off at Istanbul. I ran from one end of the airport to the other, past 90 gates one way, past another 90 gates the other way. Do you know how many steps that is? In other news, I have a meeting at the dental clinic tomorrow and I'm gonna find out what I'm getting done because I don't actually know yet. Can I just also make a point and say that this tooth is fake anyway or like half of it is? So I might get that redone if anything. Ooh. Why can I hear like children laughing? Good morning, good morning, good morning. I have the consultation today. I have no idea what I'm getting done to my teeth, like I said. You see, I say that my teeth look really good on camera. They make them look so white and straight, but in person, this tooth is a little bit messed up. Let me show you this view real quick. <laughs> wow. 
Anywho, as I was saying, this tooth is actually messed up because when I was younger, I did a backflip into a pool and then I went to swim to the surface. It wasn't the surface, it was the bottom of the pool and then I smashed my tooth in half. So I'm here with my music manager, Cora, and also her partner's here with her. She's getting a full set of veneers. But yeah, I have no idea what I'm actually gonna be getting done. We are gonna go to the consultation today and find out. We're here right now. I'm with Cora and Kai as well. We just ordered drinks and I was like, yeah, sure, what, water? And then Kai was like, what do you have? And he was like, smoothie milkshakes, coffees, iced coffees, and I was like, sailors. <laughs> there's a guy, oh, I was like, there's a guy filming us and I didn't know where he was, and then, <laughs> turn around. <laughs> I was like, where is he? <laughs> but yeah, they're making like a little documentary of us getting everything done. Guess I'm doing the same. Oh my God. Taste test. Cora's taste test now. <laughs> There's no alcohol in it, so Cora's like, mm. she's like, nah. Nice. Cora wasn't a fan of the coffee, so she got her strawberry milkshake instead, mm -hmm. as she should. Is this gonna be the one? That's pain. Strawberry milkshake? Mm. We're just having a consultation now. Wow. This is so bougie, I'm in love. I would love for these the front teeth here to be completely straight. What would you recommend? For laminar veneers from surface 0 0.5 millimeters and from the length 1 millimeter. For me, we don't like to fight head teeth too much. Yeah, so this basically convinced me to get veneers and that happened. <laughs> like getting the laminar veneers, I'd have to see how just, much like you know, get filed down. down. I was just scared about how much my natural teeth they were going to file down, but he reassured me that it wouldn't be that much. So here's to hoping. I don't, I just hate, you know, big gum. I hate gum. We also had to pick what shade we wanted, and I went for BL2, which is like second brightest. Oh, <laughs> okay. Today's the day that I get my teeth filed down. I haven't had Starbucks in like five days, and I hate to sound like a basic white bitch, but I get a caramelized macchiato made with almond milk, two pumps of hazelnut, and extra caramel drizzle. I would highly recommend. What? That is unreal. Jesus Christ. If you can see by the drips over there, it's raining and it's supposed to be thunder and lightning today, so <laughs> I'm not happy about it. My teeth look so good on this camera, but can I just say again, they don't look like this in person. They actually don't. I had to sit down and think about it last night and I realized that it would be really, really messed up for me to get a full mouth of veneers, but I really don't need them on my bottom teeth. Like, so I'm just gonna get them on my top teeth. These ones here, I want to make them sharp because I think it looks so cool. I know there's gonna be people watching this, like this girl is crazy and yeah, hello, like I'm tapped. Like watch my other videos, bitch. I'm not on here to be a role model. I'm on here to be myself and share my life and my journey and my experiences. Shit, sometimes it involves going to Turkey and getting veneers. It is what it is. So yeah, I will see you at the dentist. Like I was at the dentist. So I just spoke to the dentist and told him that I was just thinking about getting the top teeth done Done and it is possible. We are starting now. And just the top teeth, half the stress, I guess. Yes. They gave me injections in my gum, which made my mouth entirely numb, so I didn't feel the filing, but it was just a little bit uncomfortable, but no pain. Once they filed all my teeth down, they literally put in identical copies of my old teeth until the real ones were fitted. I'm so numb. Watch me try and drink this water. I swear on my life, that wasn't even fake. <laughs> like, I'm struggling. <laughs> Actually, I might go back to Starbucks. Can I drink through a straw? Oh, I cancel. So these are my temporary teeth until I get them actually fitted. So yeah, bottom ones are still exactly the same. I just had them whitened and cleaned. They're the temporaries. Is my mouth always lopsided or is it just because it's numb? Look at this pool area. They have like floating sunbeds in the pool. I was here yesterday and I was vibing out. The teeth aren't actually that sensitive. I thought I'd be in so much pain like when I ate and drank, but it's fine. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna chill here for a bit and wait for Cora and Kai to come down and we're gonna grab some food at the little beach bar, I think. So we've all got our false teeth in right now. The temporary <laughs> ones. Everyone's attempting to eat and just not having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, they got chicken Caesar salad, so they really have to like chew the chicken. <laughs> As for me, I got calamari and fries. But yeah, we're about to go to the dentist and they're gonna show us what our teeth are gonna look like and we can edit them and just pick how we want them. All of that food and drink cost 10 pounds. What? 
So this is what the x-ray produced of my old teeth. They're not actually that bad. It's just you can kind of see on my front teeth what was annoying me. And this is how I designed my after teeth. I made them too long because it's easy for them to file them down rather than make them longer once they're fitted. We've just come downstairs for food and look how insane this buffet looks. Like I'm already looking at the desserts, mainly the desserts. They look unreal. Where do I start? Oh my God. Wow, wow, unreal, unreal. I got a selection of pretty much everything. <laughs> We got everything basically. Every single dessert. Wow. How are the profiteroles? rolls? Oh my god. What do you like? It's not gonna come over here, is it? Terrified about it. Cracks all over your skin, but in person. Good? Not good? Your teeth. You just swallowed it. I just felt it move. Mm. So I can't not lose anymore. You're gonna have like four when you go back. <laughs> so I got my eyelashes done yesterday, and there are a lot. I'm getting my teeth fitted today. Ah! Here we go. I've been waiting for this one. <laughs> Exquisite. So right now we are fitting the teeth that I designed, but not officially. Just testing them in my mouth to see if I like them. I don't know if I made the vampire teeth a bit too sharp, but we will find out. So we finished with what I designed on the board and this is what the teeth look like. I felt like the teeth were too big so I got them to make them smaller and also make the vampire teeth less vampire-y. I should just keep them like this for Halloween, go as a vampire. I'm also getting another round of whitening on my bottom teeth so that's cool. Pain level wise, teeth whitening was the worst thing of them all. It was just really sensitive when I was getting it done. I mean, I'm fine now afterwards but the sensitivity was intense. Damn, they're looking white now. It's time for the injection now and this is the worst part, <laughs> getting injected in the gum. They injected my gums to make my mouth numb so I literally couldn't feel anything. Getting the actual veneers fitted was so quick, they literally just took the tooth, glued it into your mouth, set it with the lye and you were done. I guess because the hard part was them making the teeth in general. And in the next clip you can see her literally pass him the tooth as he puts it in my mouth and then uses the light to set it in place. And then they just took a quick mould of my teeth for like a retainer afterwards to keep them in place. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my mouth is numb. Hello, so if you can tell from my surroundings, I'm back home now and I'm ready to show you my teeth. It's been about five days, but I'm absolutely gassed with them. I'm so happy. My skin is not doing bits at the minute. Ignore that, it happens. <laughs> I'm glad that I can smile from any angle now without being insecure that like this tooth was further forward and kind of overlap my other tooth. The whole experience was so smooth as well, like the whole process. I would genuinely say that the teeth whitening was worse than getting the veneers. I mean, it wasn't even that bad either. It was just sensitive whilst I was getting it done, but afterwards it felt so fine. Like my bottom teeth aren't sensitive anymore. You guys might disagree. You might be like, why did you do this? You're so dumb. Your teeth look no different or your teeth look fake now. Whatever it is, let me know in the comment section. Get creative with your hate comments. It's always a pleasure to read them. My body, my choices. My body, my rules. The dental center did bits. They are so, so good. I'm pretty sure they're like one of the best places you can go to to get your teeth done. They have like 300k Insta followers. So I was like, damn. I wasn't in any pain the whole time. I know my teeth weren't awful before, but the dental center reached out and said that they wanted to work with me. So I was like, you know what? Sure. It should have cost about 7,000 for the full mouth of veneers, but just for the top ones, it was like three and a half, something like that. People think that everyone flies to Turkey to get cheap teeth done. That is the case for some people, but where I went, like they're not cheap and it's just, you're paying for quality. I'm gassed that they actually match my bottom teeth because that was something that I'm worried about. I mean, there's a tiny, tiny difference because like these are perfect and my bottom teeth are my actual teeth if you want to keep up with my teeth and like the process afterwards as well follow my instagram i'll be posting some more stuff on there as well thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in a future video bye guys